Welcome back to Behind the Bands. I'm here with Street Light Circus out of New York City. Guys, welcome to the show. How's it going? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, I want to talk to you first about, like, I hope this means it's a good thing. You guys even you refer to yourself somewhat as like a sort of a throwback band, and I, I yeah. kind of perceive it that way. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, better a throwback band than one that makes people throw up. So, I mean, I think that, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the first thing. But we are, uh, you know, I just think we embody a little bit of the old school hard rock vibe. You know, we try to mix in a little bit of some new flavor and some kind of, you know, some kind of current, you know, heavy sounds, but we're all schooled on old school rock and roll, Van Halen and ACDC and Kiss, and, Kiss and, Smith. and Kicks Mid-Atlantic people and, uh, you know, <laughs> and bands like that. And, you know, and so that one Direction? And one Direction. Who's uh, that? And, uh, You've never heard of that band. In other words, we're old. In other words, in other words he's old. That's right. Um, but, you know, we try to, listen, if you can incorporate a little bit of what made rock and roll great. Um, and then infuse it with some new energy. That's what we're trying to do, I think. And uh, so far, it's been working out pretty good. So, is that style what landed you guys on the M3 Festival? Because that's actually our first exposure to you guys was M3. Yeah, I think so. I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was an honor to be asked. You know, I mean, we we had been M3 twice, no less. twice. Yeah, we've been M3 attendees. Um, we had gone down to uh, to see the show in the you know, first uh, three years. And, um, you know, I was on the boards and I made a bunch of friends out there and then uh, they gave us a call and uh, asked to be part of it two years ago. And I think the, the thing that really flattered us was that they asked us back. And that's the thing. I mean, it was really cool to be asked the first time, but when they respect you and like you enough to bring you back a second time and when you're one of the only independent bands playing that thing. I guess all the 80 metal bands are independent wow. now. But, <laughs> but, At this stage of the game. But yeah, but you know what I mean. But when you're the, you know, you're trying, you're an upstart band, and they're, uh, you know, and they're inviting you back a second time. I mean, that means a lot to us, and it was, it was really, it was an honor. And the crowd this year, was huge. holy cow, man! I mean, you were there. I mean, it was yeah. compared to last year, it was insane. It was great. So, made us feel really welcome. And uh, is there a third time in it? I don't know. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. You never know. No. Who knows? We're, we're looking for the three P. Yeah. <laughs> What do you do when the night won't end? Don't wanna break and you just won't bend. Everybody says they got a better way. Some go to war and some go out of prey. Then you decide what you want to defend. You better take it from me. You guys were definitely favorite there. I mean, we definitely became fans of you guys there. Now, tell me about the formation of the band because you had a solo career and then it became this and then. Talk or do you want to jump in on that a little bit? I thought was going to talk. Well, actually, you know what? <laughs> there you go. M3 is is the reason why is direct semi directly why I'm in the band because uh, George and I had met the year uh, prior at uh, an extreme concert at the New York State Fair in Syracuse, and we kind of lost touch, but then. I ran, we ran to each other at the first M3 when Extreme played, and that's when we kind of, you know, stayed in touch, and you know, we would you know, hang out occasionally. And then that's when we kind of said, "Hey, listen, I'll, I'll do this thing at Street Red Circus." Yeah, it's opening. Uh, we're going to be playing M3. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that was the real. That was the real. Yeah, I, uh, I, I released a solo. Of course, CD. I was very uh, yeah. inebriated. But <laughs> really, that's a shocking. Know, hey. Shocking. I released a solo Dreams CD in, two, in 2006. Put out an album. Uh, Grab George, who was a and it was a real old friend of mine. So was Eric. Uh, I go way back with both these guys. Um, started it as a solo project. It kind of eventually melded into Streetlight Circus. We became tight. We realized this is not a solo deal anymore. We're work, you know, we are kind of you know four men for the same cause, and you know, and that's it. And uh, I came down with a song for the band called Streetlight Circus. We thought the album perhaps was going to be called Streetlight Circus. It was you know David Shaw and Streetlight Circus, and then all of a sudden it was George's idea. He said, you know. What? Out of sheer laziness, I just figured that. <laughs> he said he likes you out of sheer laziness. Why do we have to think of anything when we already got a name right here? And you got the song, you got the album, uh, just call the band that. And, and that's really what it is. I, you know, when Let's I get moving. When I moved back to put this thing together, it was, you know, it was cool to put a solo thing together because, you know, I hadn't played with these guys in a while. But, you know, as it grows, it becomes a real a real band. And, uh, you know, we really, you know, besides, besides Fabio, we get along with everybody in the band really well. So... Um, that's because he's the new guy. You would just like to comment guy. on that law? Or? No, I won't get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now we probably won't have a ride home. Exactly. <laughs> that ride. That's right. Fabio the wheels back to New York tonight. So that's right. No, we I just know. really wanted a guy in the band named Fabio. Honestly, yeah, by the way, he's, he's not the, the model Fabio. He's the other Fabio. He's the right. super model Fabio. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
Yeah, I noticed something kind of different on your album is uh, you have two tracks that are listed as a bootleg live track. You don't see much of that anymore. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, uh, well, you bootlegged it. That's yes, well, we didn't have enough songs, so let's, let's put it in two uh, live tracks on, on the CD. Is that true? Now, did you actually like... No, uh, not really. But, you know, we, we actually decided to, to just change it up. Kind of just add something different, uh, not just go with the full, the regular standard 10 songs, 10 studio tracks. Okay. Yeah, so I'm throwing a couple live tracks, you know, one that's already on the album at the studio cut, and then one that's not. Just to and allow a, people to hear, you know, kind of the live you know, show. Yeah, get a sense of what we're like live, and, and you know, if people realize, hey, you can duplicate this stuff live, you know, they'll maybe you know get out in front of us a little more when, uh, when we're in their town. So. So my favorite tune tonight's set uh, was, I believe, it's called "You Get None." Yeah. And that's got a real throwback tune to it. Is that is that one of the more popular ones? Or tell me about what's the big the big requested tune when you guys play live. The last one. <laughs> <laughs> Always the last one. Ah, Never you guys. Never <laughs> you guys are playing live. Now you can see why, why we hate him. <laughs> now you see why we don't like this guy. No, <laughs> you're coming clear. You get none is actually from my solo album when I uh, uh, when I moved back from. I lived in California for seven years, recorded the solo disc that kicked this band off. You get none was on that album. We always try to keep maybe one of those songs uh, rotating the set. Um, it's kind of where this whole thing started. And I think it's become a favorite, uh, and it's something that we may even re-record down the line because uh, George and Fabio do some real nice dual guitar work. Yeah, that I, that's one. what jumped out at me. Was that yeah. It had that classic feeling right away when, yeah. when I heard the kind of the kind of steady bass line, the dual guitars kicked in. I was like, wow, a time machine. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we're all, <laughs> uh, maybe you know that may be something we revisit at some point when we do the next album because it's 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 actually people have, a number of people have come up and said they really dug that tune. So. We're actually going to uh, name our next album One Direction. Yes. <laughs> That's a good uh, idea. New Direction. New, new Direction. You might want to, they may the actually be direction. taken, you, you might want to check that out. Uh, who, who else would call themselves One Direction? No, no, just name the album. Name the album. Street Light Circus, One Direction. Maybe it'll fool a few people in the election. You get none. 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 Uh, knew we weren't resting on our laurels, you know, and, uh, and I think that means something to, to people who care about us, who become fans of ours, um, that, you know, we're coming back with something new for them and, and to do a few new tunes and, uh, you know, slowly but surely, instead of recording an entire album, hey, let's get four songs out, let, let them hear it, and then we'll move on to the whatever's next. So speaking of whatever's next, so what do you guys got coming up to round out 2013? Are you um, going to be recording, touring? What's what's up? I think we'll be doing here? some writing. We have a few gigs coming up. We're playing. Uh, we're going to be playing in Jersey with Hookers and Blow, Dizzy Reed, you know, from Guns N' Roses. Um, we're already booked playing Arlene's Grocery in Manhattan in November. We're already booked into uh, for April at a great club. If anybody travels up to New York City, there's a beautiful, beautiful venue they've just opened called Stage 48. I mean, it's a great venue. We played there last year with Y and T, and they're coming back, and they invite us to play with them again. So we're great gonna, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had a, they're a great live band, Y and T, of course. We had a, uh, yeah. we had a great show with those guys, and then hopefully this this winter, uh, you know, if we hold up a little bit, maybe we'll do some, uh, we'll get some new songs going, and you know, and maybe in another, and maybe it'll take us another five years. We'll put an album out. <laughs> you <laughs> never know. For people not from New York, tell them what Arlene's Grocery is, because I only see New York bands playing up there. It's literally a grocery store, right? That got wow. converted. I gotta let you yes. do that. Yeah, yeah it was a grocery store now at one time. Um, ah, well, upstairs. Yeah, and it converted into a so, uh, club, and so one of these hip clubs. Uh, they have a great live rock and roll karaoke on Monday nights that my friend plays uh, in the band. And they, have, you know, they always have bands that have a, you know, they have a good sound system, great uh, modern mix, which you know, as a band, 
if you're a musician, you know that's rare, and it's, it's appreciated that, yeah. when it is. And it's just uh, it's a great, you know, one of the few uh, left uh, venues in New York that are that uh, catering to rock and roll. Definitely, is that one day I got to get up there and see because I see I always see New York fans posting the plane all these I've never been up there. Wednesday, but, November six, <laughs> come on up. <laughs> Awesome, Let me man. know you'll be on guest. We'll see. I, we may, that's our anniversary weekend. We'll I can't now, we're, 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 we'll <laughs> celebrate the New, New York City. We, we are committed that weekend. You, Rock you're going to be committed that weekend. No. <laughs> you know what, what she's basically telling you is if you try to come up to New York that weekend, you're going to be committed. It was only a matter of yeah. time anyway. So. <laughs> well, I want to thank Streetlight Circus for being with us. Um, where do you want people to go to find your music? Uh, streetlightcircus.com uh, is the obvious place. You can uh, purchase uh, music and CDs directly from our website. Um, please like us on Facebook, Streetlight Circus on Facebook. Um, we have a new and video on YouTube. We have a new video on YouTube for the song Downside, which we opened with tonight. Um, so please uh, view it and share it. View it, share it. Uh, the whole the whole way this happens for any band is that people get behind it, not only watch the stuff and buy it themselves, but get out there and tell other people, post stuff on, on your Facebook pages, uh, email your friends, whatever. Streetlight Circus. The songs are up on iTunes, uh, Amazon, Amazon, CDbaby.com, all that stuff. but. You come straight to our website. You're directly supporting us. That that you know, if you buy, it's cheapest there, and you're really doing a, going a long way to support you know an independent rock and roll band that's working hard out there. So we're gonna keep an eye on them. There's the name of the band right there. These are the guys <laughs> making rock and roll filthy again. <laughs> guys, thanks for being on the show. Uh, my Thank pleasure. You. Thank our you for having us. Thank you very much.